Now tell us about the recent correspondence you received from PennDOT and your reaction when you read it. <laughs> uh, uh, disbelief. We, we, we've had no communication with any representatives of PennDOT or PennDOT since uh, May of last year, 2022. Uh, on March 9th, we received a phone call uh, in reference to documents coming in. And on March 10th, we received uh, an email with uh, 10 documents attached to it, one of them being an uh, eminent domain just uh, compensation letter from uh, the engineering firm representing Pen and PennDOT, uh, representing them. And uh, when we looked at the letter, uh, total shock on it. Uh, the compensation offered was $100. We, we knew it was always, you know, everybody's always going to, PennDOT's always going to shoot low. It was just total disbelief that it was $100. That, I mean, that, that's, I don't know if I want to say disrespectful. Um, was it a joke? Is it a joke? We don't know. The first thing we'll do is, is we'll be rejecting that. Uh, we have not provided them with the rejection yet. We were supposed to have a meeting on uh, Friday. That's been canceled by them. Uh, we're attempting to reschedule it. So um, I guess they'll hear about the rejection from us on the video here instead of having the letter yet. But they'll have to do a formal rejection because you have 30 days to respond or it's set in stone. Where does this leave the future of the school? Extremely in limbo. Okay, it, 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 extremely up in the air. I mean, it, it's as if uh, uh, you are on a bridge and the bridge has just been retracted and you have nothing underneath you. Uh, it, it is, uh, as a nonprofit, we're a revenue driven mon nonprofit. Uh, we're not a grant driven or donation driven. Um, so, you know, the impact of the uncertainty of, of the eminent domain the last couple of years, along with uh, the, the, the uh, perfect storm of COVID has severely impacted us. And now with the offer coming in, it uh, really is uh, unsettling and uncertain, you know, especially as a nonprofit. I mean, we don't have cash reserves. We, we can't uh, just move and uh, go out and sell more widgets to make up the difference in the losses. So it's, a, it's an extraordinarily negative impact.